How are you doing, Tina? I'm great. So I'm here to introduce you to the Palm Free. It is Palm flagship first flagship product uh, running the brand new Palm WebOS software. As you can see, the Palm Pre is designed to be ergonomic, fit comfortably in your hand. It's very um, polished, as though you're holding a river stone. So, as you can see, the UI is very clear, very clean. There's no UI clutter, just four icons at the bottom for you to access your applications very quickly and very easily. This is a multi-touch screen. Um, it has a 3.1 display, 320 by 480 display. The touch screen, uh, which extends all the way down to the bottom of the device and into this area, which we call the gesture area. As you can see, the gesture area lights up, and I'll go into how we can use the gesture area. So to quickly access an application... Now just touching on the screen for a second, it's, it's multi-touch. So it senses two fingers on the device, not Correct. just one. Okay. Okay. So to ac quickly access uh, an application, I touch the application icon, and I've brought up my contacts application. I can actually scroll through my contacts very easily, very seamlessly. If I want to go to a particular contact, I tap that contact, and all of Sophia information will come up and it is readily available, whether it's her home, email, work, mobile phone. As you can see in the upper right hand corner, there are four, there's a number four and four photos uh, that are in a kind of a pretty and card view. If I tap on that, it actually shows I have contacts and I have linked contacts to Sophia under one card, contact card application. Very nice. Mm -hmm. so, um, so to go back, Using the gesture area, I'm still not using any other thing but except the actual screen. I can actually go back by moving my finger back across the gesture area. If I want to go back again, I do the same thing and now I'm in the card view. In the card view, I can actually have multiple cards which are applications open at one time without losing my place. I decide I want to go to email. Now I'm in email, and all of my email, which has been synced, like my calendar and like my contact, from all the various sources, whether it's Gmail, whether it's Outlook, whether it's Facebook. I can look at my email in two different views. I can look at all my email in one view, or I can look at my email separately, whether it's G the inbox for my Gmail or inbox for my Palm. I can also look at my folders with that associated account. To go back, I swipe. Now I'm also in the card view for my email, and I can actually flow through my application. So you're showing us true multitasking, two applications running at once. Correct. If I don't like the orientation of the applications and I want to move an application to the, say I want to move my mail in front of my contacts, I just tap and hold and move, tap the screen and bring back my card view. Let's check out calendar. So here's my calendar. And my calendar comes up for today actually showing all of my appointments because I have a selected all of my calendar appointments to show up. I can actually go to the next day and see all of my calendar appointments. If I just want to see my personal appointment, all I have to do is select the menu, select personal, and now I only see my personal account appointments. As you can see, there's a shaded area here. That shaded area means that I have an appointment on another calendar. So, if I'm only looking at the personal view, for example, I know not to double book myself because I have something there because it's shaded. If I want to make an appointment, I just tap 
And in order to type, we have a slide out keyboard, which is a full QWERTY keyboard to allow me to type in for calendar appointments, email, and text. If I want to go back, I can go back this way, or I can always go back to my center navigation just to go to the card view and flow. So I have linked contacts and layered email and layered calendar. Now let's look at integrated messaging. I go to the launcher. I can either tap the launch icon or I can use my gesture area to swipe up. So go to messaging. Here's my messaging. Here's my buddy list. I can see everyone who is online and available for me to chat with. I can also go to conversations and previously pick up a conversation with someone that I've already started talking with. So go back to my buddy list. And here I am. I decide I want to send e email to Anthony through his AIM account. We also support Google Talk as well. Do this. So if I type, I don't know how many do this. <laughs> hello. I quickly I can type hello, and I can send the message. And G Talk. So what's really cool about integrated messaging? I am in, I'm in G Talk right now. Say he walks away from his computer, and I decide, okay, he's no longer online, but I still need to reach him, and I want to keep the integrate, I want to keep the conversation going. I can type, I can tap the menu up at the top and now I have all the different ways to reach that person. If I decide all of a sudden that I want to send them a text, I can quickly switch to text and now I went from I am to SMS in the same conversation. So it's threaded chat but all of your all of your messaging services. That's correct. Fair Whatever enough. you signed up for. Yep. The chat is Gmail only, though. Is that right? I they can have, chat. They have to be we Gmail, have, too? No, we, have, we support AIM and Gmail. And so if the other person's on Yahoo, would you see that with the green light still light up? Uh, Do you support Yahoo? Not yet. It, it's forthcoming. Yeah. Details are forthcoming <laughs> on what we support, but yes. Yeah. Just a quick question on the forthcoming. development. Oh, oh, you are on yeah. Calgary. Sorry. So now I want to go back to my car view. Let's check out music. So it supports eight gig of storage, mm -hmm. and um, that you can download from your, you can transfer files from your PC, whether it's photos, music, or video. So if I go to the photos application, I can see all my photos. I can see all my images, and I can see all the file folders that I have specifically. So if I select, I see my thumbnail view of my of photos. It has a 3 megapixel camera with extended depth of field and flash in order for me to take photos. So I've taken these photos, and I want to go to full card view. I just tap on the photo and actually go through so there, now, there is no app store in the conventional iPhone sense of that word, is there? We do have... Okay. Get to that. okay. okay. Sorry. We will be supporting the developer community, and it will have an application discovery, application store Excellent. on the device. On the device. And I'll, I can show you the icon for that as well. If I want to go back to my thumbnail view, I can do that. So one of the other interesting and really cool things about the device is... I want to be able to listen to music and go through my photos at the same time. And a lot of times you have to back out of applications in order to do that. Yep. So if I go back to my launcher and I decide I want to listen to music, these are the files that I've loaded from, transferred from my PC. If I go ahead and look at my music library, I have my music stored.